In this 2020 design tutorial, we'll discuss how to combine 2020 Design's rendering settings to get the rendering performance to quality ratio you're looking for. In 2020 Design, you can create renderings in varying qualities, each meeting a certain need. For example, low resolution images that you can generate very quickly may be exactly what you need while you're in the design process. During this time, performance may be more important to you than quality. You can use a quick rendering to verify your work without waiting for the photorealistic quality to generate, so you can get your job done quickly. However, if you're presenting your designs to a client, you probably want to use a photorealistic quality to knock their socks off. Rendering quality and speed are affected by settings that are found in two places. The first is in the Rendering Performance settings in the Preferences menu, and the second is in the Navigation Toolbar in the Rendering Presentation window. Rendering with Performance in Mind If performance is what you're after, then open the Rendering Preference settings and set the Shape Display quality to Draft. The shape display quality determines the resolution at which shapes and textures in your design will be rendered. Draft mode renders at 128 by 128 maximum texture resolution. Normal is 256 by 256. And best is 1024 by 1024. In the rendering navigation toolbar, select texture mode and set the quality to low. Keep in mind that the level of complexity in your design also affects the rendering speed. So if you're using a lot of glass, mirrors, or reflective materials, the rendering may take longer. Complex objects like flowers and plants can add to the time it takes to render. To see if your design has any complex objects, switch to wireframe mode and look at the objects in your design. If an item has a lot of lines in it, then it's pretty complex. To get better performance while you're designing, you may want to insert complex decorative items into your design last. Finally, use a smaller rendering window. Running in full screen will increase the time needed to do the rendering. Rendering with a performance quality balance. If you'd like to keep some good performance but wish to have a little better quality, then set the shape display quality in the rendering preferences to normal. Then, in the Navigation Toolbar, set the Texture Quality to Medium. Click on the Lighting menu, select Scene, and set the Auto Lighting Intensity to 20 watts. If you still want a little higher quality, then set the Texture Mode to High. This will reduce any jagged lines you might see. Try adjusting these settings a few times until you get the balance you're after. Again, running the rendering in smaller screen mode will help increase the performance. Photorealistic quality. If it's photorealistic quality you're after, then in the rendering preferences, set the shape display quality to best. In the rendering navigation toolbar, turn on global illumination and set the texture mode to high. Keep in mind that the time it takes to render high-quality, photorealistic renderings depends directly on the performance ratings of your computer and graphics card and on the size or resolution of your rendering. To generate an over-the-top fantastic rendering, you can also do the following. Number one, use a room that's closed. Number two, assign a floor and ceiling texture. Number three, add at least one window to your design and use the rendering navigation toolbar to carefully place the sun so that you get sunlight through window openings and into your design. Sunlight helps make the design look more realistic. Number four, add as much lighting as you can using recessed spots and lamps. You'll find those in the generic catalog labeled room underscore fur. or you can use the lighting wizard to place lights. 
make sure to turn off the Auto Lighting Intensity option to get a more realistic effect. To do this, click on the Light Effect button in the Navigation Toolbar and select Scene from the Light Mode list. Then select Off from the Auto Lighting Intensity dropdown. Number 5. Add decorative items from the catalog labeled Room underscore Deck or use the Auto Deco feature. Just keep in mind that the more complex objects you add to the design, the longer it will take to render. Number 6. The secret to a beautiful and realistic rendering is lighting and ambiance. Play with the different lighting settings like sun, ambient light, and light intensity. Look around you and analyze the different light effects and shadows in the room where you are. Then try to reproduce it in your renderings. And remember, Real-life lighting is never too bright. Make sure to adjust your ambient lighting in a way you can see shadows and the detail of the objects in your scene. When you're rendering photorealistic quality renderings, it's good to keep in mind that the size of your rendering window and your screen resolution can play a very large part in the time a design takes to render. For example, if your screen resolution is 1920 by 1080, the final rendering will look great on a 60-inch TV, but it could take 15 to 20 minutes to render. So, we recommend that before you start a large-scale, high-quality rendering, do some testing. Reduce the size of your rendering window to a size that has the same aspect ratio as what you want your final rendering to be. So, if your desired output is 1920 by 1080, reduce your rendering screen size to 480 by 270. Your test renderings will generate quickly. To make the testing process even faster, set the rendering texture quality to low. Once you have everything looking the way you want it, set the quality back to high, the screen size back to the desired resolution, and launch your final render. You'll feel confident that the final outcome is what you want. Thanks for watching this video. For more 2020 tutorials, visit our online community at 2020spaces.com community.